guys so i'm just starting by applying my foundation to just create a very even surface and this is just a maybelline foundation which matches my skin tone perfectly and i'm really only using just a small amount of foundation i never really like to build up too much foundation on my face and i'm just applying that with a stippling brush Next, I'm just going to do some really light highlighting and contouring and using LA Pro Girl Concealer for highlighting, I'm going to just use that under my eyes, the bridge of my nose, the middle of my forehead, and my chin. I usually do this when I'm heading out for the night to have a really nice flawless finish in photographs and just draw in the light exactly where you want it. Just using a foundation brush, I just blend it in by using a padding motion. By the way, please excuse the lighting in my bathroom. It's literally on like a million watts. <laughs> and now for my light contouring, I'm just using a brown eyeshadow, nothing special, and use that to just define the shadows and the contours of my face. It really creates a nice contrast from the highlighting and the pictures as well. Using a really dense shadow brush, I really focus on the hollows of my cheeks, some of my jawline, and the temples of my forehead and for blush just apply that to the apples of my cheeks and sweep it out towards my hairline right above the contour area next I'm going to create some really nice um, shimmer and bronze C effect right above the blush area and it just creates this amazing bronze radiance that looks great in photos draws in so much light it's the perfect highlight right at the highest point of your cheekbone Nose running from the Okay, so I'm not a big eyeshadow girl, so when I use it, I really keep it super simple. I'm using a reddish brown color in the crease of my eye to just um, give it more depth. And then a really pretty gold shadow um, to provide some shimmer all over the lid. To keep it super simple and natural. Oh, I nesh my little pumpkin. <laughs> I'm so sweet. So oh, I've already applied my eyeliner, uh, a gel eyeliner from Wet n Wild and here I'm just applying my mascara using a Benefit mascara. And here I'm just using a pressed powder from NYX. This is their Twin Cake Powder in Chocolate just to set everything in place and try to keep some of my oily areas nice and matte just so that my oily skin does not melt away my face throughout the day <laughs> and for my eyebrows um, all I do is just groom them a little bit using yes a rat tail comb do not judge me and now I'm just using life of the party this is a bare minerals lip gloss um, no lip liner no lipstick just gliding it on keeping it nice and simple I've been sipping since I've been 20 on that leave Okay, so on to the hair, and today I'm just rocking this unit from evawigs.com, and this was a 22 inch, really full of natural waves and curls, uh, natural black unit, and I've really been enjoying it. Today I'm just spritzing it down and combing it out though, because I really wanted that natural kind of poofy look, and I'm just going to be using Design Essentials Honey and Shea Edge Tamer to slick down my edges. And I go in with coconut oil first to keep my natural hair uh, nice and moisturized underneath the gel. And then I will start slicking my edges. So as far as applying this wig, I just made sure to leave out my hairline um, to create a much more natural look as well as apply some concealer to the part. And I woke up in the kitchen saying hi. I am really really enjoying this unit you guys I hate that the lighting in my bathroom is not doing it justice and picking up the color because this hair has undergone a double bleaching process and then received um, two different dyes on it to create this navy blue into teal ombre and I really wish it was picking it up a lot better but even after all that processing the hair is still so amazingly soft and tangled the hair doesn't feel dried out or like straw because of the bleaching it is still so amazingly like day one soft so I'm really really liking it a lot and it has upheld its curl pattern amazingly I co-wash it about every two days and it returns to its 
natural wavy texture and on top of all of that it lays so flat I've never worn a unit that has laid so flat before so it looks very effortlessly natural so I'm really enjoying this Eva Wigs unit. I've been mixing, I've been sipping Since I've been 20 on that lean, baby girl I've been popping and I've been rolling Since I was 17, I've been geeking on that water I want you, nah, nah I'm not trying to f tomorrow, baby I want you, nah, nah Don't forget this Saturday, August 16th, come hang out with me and your other favorite bloggers along with celebrity hairstylist Kim Kimball at the LAX Renaissance Hotel for a full day of fashion shows, beauty, and hair talk. Check out all the deets on my Facebook page. Hope to see you ladies there. Bye, pretty.